Welcome gamers, Hazardor here, and today I'm going to give you my first impressions of the Battlefield 1 open beta. Now right off the bat I'm just going to say that this is a really good beta, and it has set up a great starting point for the game to launch later this year. Battlefield 1 is something very different, and that is one of the things that I've enjoyed most in this beta. It does feel like a World War game. The way the soldiers look, the vehicles that are there, the maps themselves, you know, with trenches, barbed wire and it's sort of sections where it definitely feels like it is no man's land. It just feels like you're in World War One. And one of the things that is so impressive about this game is the audio and the music. The audio in this game is what makes it feel like World War One. For example, soldiers shouting out to different people, and the most notable thing is when you're shooting your weapons. Especially with like bolt action rifles or sniper rifles, you shoot one of these bad boys and it feels like a real weapon and it just sounds so crisp and perfect. There's no performance issues either, like lag or netcode or any bugs, unexpected crashes. It's run perfectly for me, even the frame rate is quite stable and I've got no complaints in the performance department. Visually, the graphics are absolutely beautiful, you knew a battlefield game like this was going to be beautiful beautiful anyway, you know, Battlefront had amazing graphics, Battlefield 4 for its time was beautiful, and this is no different. Another thing that fits into this World War 1 setting so well is the vehicles in this game, and some people have actually complained that these vehicles are a bit too overpowered, more specifically the tanks, but I personally didn't feel it. Despite saying that though, tanks are definitely something to reckon with when you've got two, three, or even the tanks full of players. You can repair yourself while you're in it, you can kill people left, right and centre, and it's quite hard to kill tanks or destroy them in my opinion. That's one of the complaints about this game that if you're infantry, unless you're running uh, the class that takes out vehicles, assault I think it's called, you're not going to be taking out these vehicles at all. I don't think any other class can actually take out vehicles. I mean in Battlefield 4 you had recon and support, both running C4 you could take out vehicles, but in this game it is very very class specific and I personally didn't really like that. But the vehicles play really well in this game and one of the things that I was very impressed with was the horses. They're not specifically a vehicle, I mean they're an animal of course, but they are classified as a vehicle because you can spawn on them and you know get around the map really quickly and kill people. I just thought the horses were so fun to play. You jump on them, you gallop about the map, you shoot enemies and you just rush the enemy team so well. I really did expect horses to be a bit of something that could either go really well or really bad because you know putting animals in a game like this, going head to head with a tank, it seems a bit weird but it just went the other way in a way of they are really good and they make the game feel absolutely amazing. Now of course Battlefield is all about its weapons and the large amount of weapons you can use in this game, the variety of submachine guns, shotguns, pistols, bolt action rifles, this great variety of weapons that you can all use and master and there, there is a lot of weapons to use in Battlefield 1, don't get me wrong but one of the things I don't really like about it and one of the things you can't do with these weapons is customise them that well. I may have missed this but in a beta I don't think you can actually customise your weapons at all. You can't put sights on them, grips, extended mags, anything like this and to be honest that does fit the theme of course in World War 1 there weren't like variable zooms and you know grenade launches under your weapons this sort of stuff but Battlefield has been known for having a lot of customization on its weapons and then this entry of the Battlefield series you're just not gonna get that. To veterans of this series I'm afraid to say that you will not like Rush on this game. I don't think Rush shoots this game very well or the developers haven't really implemented it very well but I definitely definitely preferred playing Conquest on this beta. I don't know what it is about Rush, I mean in Battlefield 4 it wasn't that good either and on this I think it's worse or just as bad anyway. They don't seem to be making maps specifically for Rush and if they don't do that or until they don't do that I think most people are going to be playing Conquest Large. Battlefield 1 is a move away from classic Battlefield titles which aren't futuristic but they're sort of military shooters set after World War aren't they, especially in recent times anyway. And there are a lot of things I miss that I've seen in previous Battlefield games, for example taking out tanks with rocket rocket launchers, I really miss doing that, sort of uh, flying around in a little bird and your friends sitting on the edge repairing your ship, helicopter battles, just stuff like this that I really miss and I think that it's going to make a lot of people not play this game because it doesn't feel like a core Battlefield game, but everything else it does feel like you are in a Battlefield game and the game in general and the gameplay I don't have any worries at all, this beta is very very solid, the one thing I am worried about this game is the amount of content we're going to have and if it's going to be even stable at launch. I've already said that the performance is good in a beta, but look at how Battlefield 4 launched with its netcode problems, bugs, and just all round crappy experience, wasn't it? I think Battlefield 1 
does have a chance of being like this at launch, and if it is, I mean, the reputation of the game is just going to go right down the drain, isn't it? And of course, look at the last game, Dice Made. It was Star Wars Battlefront, and we all know how that turned out. So Battlefield 1 has to not make the same mistakes Battlefront and Battlefield 4 did. Battlefield 1 has to launch with a lot of content, and if it doesn't, I think this game will be forgotten by a lot of people. But what we have so far is very, very good. And overall, I'd just say this beta is absolutely amazing. It's not perfect, but what game is perfect? I'm definitely going to go out and buy Battlefield 1 now. They've lived up to my expectations expectations and a lot of my fears that I had for this game have not came true. But anyway guys, thank you for watching, like, comment and subscribe for more.